Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A and B are non-zero real numbers. Then the reciprocal of A over B is equal to B over A. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axiom 1 is just the commutative law, and Axiom 7 tells us, for all non-zero real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, that has the property that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. Now, using Axiom 7, our definition of division is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers, where b is not equal to 0. We define a over b to be a times the reciprocal of b. And notice, since b is non-zero, then by axiom 7, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of b. Now notice, since b and a are real numbers, and a is non-zero, well then according to the definition of division, we can make sense out of the expression b over a. And since a and b are real numbers, where b is non-zero, then we can make sense out of the expression a over b. But how do we know we can make sense out of the reciprocal of a over b? Well, to make sense out of the reciprocal of a over b, we need a over b to be non-zero, because according to axiom 7, we can only take the reciprocal of non-zero real numbers. And to make sense out of the reciprocal of a over b, we have the following preliminary result, which we have proven. We have proven, given real numbers a and b where b is not equal to 0, then a over b is equal to 0 if and only if a is equal to 0. Now, this statement is equivalent to saying that this is false if and only if this is false. In other words, a over b is not equal to 0 if and only if a is not equal to 0. So, in this theorem, since we are given a and b are both non-zero real numbers, then by star we have b not equal to zero and a not equal to zero, so we can conclude a over b is not equal to zero. So since a over b is not equal to zero, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of a over b. So this statement makes sense, so now let's try to prove it. Now to prove this, we're also going to be using some other preliminary results. If we are given real numbers a, b, c, and d, where b and d are non-zero, then a over b times c over d is equal to a, c over b, d. Now, remember, we're able to make sense out of this expression, because in a over b, we know that b is non-zero, in c over d, we know that d is non-zero, and in a, c over b, d, we also know that b, d is non-zero, because, if we recall, we have proven that the product of two non-zero real numbers is a non-zero real number. And the other preliminary result we're going to use is the cancellation law of multiplication. And it says if we are given real numbers a, b, and c, where a is not equal to zero, then if a, b is equal to a, c, then b is equal to c. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start of the proof, let's first note by star, we know that a over b is non-zero. And now, the approach we're going to use to show that these two guys are equal is as follows. We're going to show that a over b times b over a is equal to a over b times the reciprocal of a over b. From here, we can apply the cancellation law of multiplication. And using the cancellation law multiplication, since a over b is not equal to zero, we can cancel out the a over b's. And so we're left with b over a equals the reciprocal of a over b, which is exactly what we want. Okay, now to show that these two guys are equal, we are going to establish a chain of equalities. And through that chain of equalities, we are going to be applying axioms 1 and 7, the definition of division, and star star.
First of all, by star star, we have a over b times b over a equals ab over ba. And then by axiom one, we can replace the ba in the denominator with ab. And then by definition of division, ab over ab is equal to ab times the reciprocal of ab. But then by axiom seven, ab times the reciprocal of ab is equal to one. But then by axiom seven again, we know that one is equal to a over b times the reciprocal of a over b. And so through this chain of equalities, we have shown that a over b times b over a is equal to a over b times the reciprocal of a over b. And now we're in a position to apply the cancellation law of multiplication. Applying the cancellation law of multiplication, since a over b is not equal to zero, we can cancel out the a over b's and we're left with b over a equals the reciprocal of a over b. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.